What is up guys, it's Noah here from iHollywood TV. Well, queen of all media, Wendy Williams. How you doing, Wendy? Yes, she's given fans a raw glimpse into her life, revealing the highs and lows she has experienced. And we're taking you behind the scenes of the making of Wendy Williams, the movie biopic, which is airing January the 30th at 8 p.m. followed by the documentary special, Wendy Williams, What a Mess, beginning at 10 p.m. only on Lifetime. So let's go behind the scenes and see what we're in for. Let's take a look. I think the most challenging thing with this was trying to play someone who is still alive and who's such an icon. And she's not some subtle person either, you know? I mean, she's very outspoken. I mean, like, literally, she's like your your crass Aunt Kathy, <laughs> you know? like, And so everybody is so familiar with her and the things that she says and the way that she moves and, you know, a lot of her past and history to where, you know, as the actor, you gotta make sure you study all of that so you could give the fans, you know, the justice that's due to perform Wendy. And so I hope that I was able to bring that out and do that. So let's talk about these breasts. Yes, doctor, I want them that big. Large and charged, voluptuous, show-stopping. Look, I'm a big girl who needs big girls. Okay, you got it. When I first read the script, and you know, especially after speaking with Wendy, but when I read the script, I mean, it's just a roller coaster, you know, and it's just like this woman has experienced so many extreme highs, but also some extreme lows. And, you know, I think, um, you know, when we touch on some of the scenes that involve, you know, the miscarriages, you know, like that stuff for me was just so, um, you know, scary to walk into. Um, because I've, I know a lot of women that have experienced that. It's powerful because as uncomfortable it is, there is some form of healing that's taking place as we, you know, portray these stories on screen, you know, not only for myself, but for women that are watching this. And then to see a woman like Wendy Williams, you know, experience that, you know, multiple times, I think it's, it's something that so many people can relate to and so many people can be compassionate about, but so many people can empathize with as well. And I don't want sympathy from anyone. Don't feel sorry for me. It's just that you know through the years, if you've watched me or listened to me enough, you know I'm an emotional person and I've never been scared of sharing my vulnerability. But I think that my vulnerability is in a way, maybe an inspiration to somebody. Like, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. There's nothing special about me except that I am my own best friend. That's the most special thing. One of the things that she said that I thought was so beautiful was we talked a lot about confidence. And I just remember her just, you know, I know what it's like being someone that doesn't fit in, being someone that, you know, isn't everybody's cup of tea. You know, I mean, I grew up in New Orleans, but my father's biracial, my mother's black, but we grew up in this neighborhood where I was the only one of my kind. And so I just didn't fit in. And I just remember growing up and kind of carrying that as a burden, but um, then being bold enough to dare to dream to be an actress. And so, you know, Wendy and I, we talked a lot about, you know, this confidence factor. Like, where did, where did she, you know, develop that confidence to say like, yeah, I may not fit in, I may not be your cup of tea, I may not be, you know, this or that, but damn it, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna put myself out there, put my best foot forward and become a radio DJ. And then, you know, a talk show icon. And one of the main things that she said was just, you know, keep holding your head up high, put your shoulders back and just screw them all. <laughs> This has been a year from hell, in a good way. And this is not my fault. This is a circumstance that I've created for myself out of a bad circumstance. I'm in my new bachelorette pad. Generally speaking, I like to take a swim in the morning before going to the studio and then I get on my lymphedema machine. I've explained to you what lymphedema is. Look it up yourself, I don't have a lot of time. I get on this two hours a day. Oh. 
It's not curable, but it, it swells it down. I hope all of the Lifetime viewers or anyone who watches this movie walks away knowing that in life, you know, you're gonna go through so many challenges. And, and some, maybe not as big as Wendy's or maybe bigger than Wendy's, but you gotta always get up and just keep on going. And I think a lot of women are gonna take that away from this movie. And I think also a lot of people are gonna just take away this idea of resilience. You know, I, I, again, I think Wendy Williams is a poster child for that. And so I want people who watch this movie to just see their journey and see their story in it and, and be reminded of how far they've come and the things that they've gone through, but how they can get back up and keep going and just stand in their light, you know? Thank you for watching our show. Say hello to my co-host, Stanford Studio Audience.